you, Jesus. Put your two hands for Jesus. And uh, give high five to your neighbor. Come on, give high five to your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, you're welcome. It's nice to see you tonight. It's nice to see you. You look so nice. Neighbor, you look so nice. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Hallelujah. Please sit on the head of your enemies. Sit on the heads of your enemies. And I want to welcome everybody that is watching us on uh, Facebook. I want you to know that God will bless you. In the name of Jesus. If you don't receive, I don't know what you're waiting for. You don't receive only being quiet. You receive with your mouth. Receive it. Say, I receive. I receive. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been told it's, 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 it's very cold. Huh? It's very cold. That's when we see real Christianity. During this time. That's when we see whether you're a Christian or you're a Christ-like. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hmm. I want people that are serious. Paradigabas. Worship team, may God bless you. May God increase you. I receive. In Jesus' name, put the two hands for the worship team. La soshado shabayana rush. Yesoshasa. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? We have Apostle Peter, the director of Holy Ghost Embassy. Rise up. Put our two hands for Apostle Peter. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. It's a blessing. Hallelujah. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. You know, I was reading today a certain book. And uh, I was reading about laws. Different laws. Uh, there is one law that I found which was very interesting which is the law of creating yourself the law of creating yourself hallelujah and I began to ask myself what is the meaning of this law what is the meaning of this law then God said you are not yet a man of God if you have not created yourself now, the law of creating yourself, it is the law of a man of God to go for labor work and to give birth after his own kind. Are you listening? Giving what? Giving birth after your own kind. Praise God. Like a dog gives birth to a dog. A lion gives birth to a lion. And Didi gives birth to what? Say didified. Didified. Say I am didified. I am didified. Shout it like you are so much didified. Come. I am didified. This is a didified generation. There's a book that I've written, didified generation. I'll be showing you. It's a generation, a generation of didi. And after this generation, there will be another generation. Praise God. Praise God. So, this evening, the Lord blessed me with a message. And that message, I believe it will bless you. 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 Amen. 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 These monitors are not working, please. Please, help me, help me, help me, help me. Marakatosh, lift your hands. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Paradosh. Zaparia. Ilarush. Zokaria Supaka. Jam Brokotozus. Ila Brokotus. Zakalia Iprakatus. Ila Rakatos. Mazo Frehidebe. Makaratos. Maya Rush. Maya Rush. 
Jambra Katuzaba Ila Rusha Badia Ikadush Jambra Kia da Behene Zakatush 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 Jambra Katuzabali Ikatush 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 Baroshalabata Maru Shabali Katush Zenon Shabali I Parakatush I Parakatush Thank you Jesus Amen Lord I pray I receive As I minister your words I receive I pray that you give them understanding. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Asuka Bali Kadush. Manifestation of the audible power of Jehovah. I receive it. The manifestation of the resurrective power of Jehovah. I receive it. Let it be evident. I receive it. Let it be real. I receive it to change lives. I receive it to change destinies. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. We pray in your name. I receive it. The name that is above every other name. I receive it. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, I receive it. Destinies are secured. I receive it in Jesus' name. I receive it. If you are a believer, lift your hand and shout, Amen. Amen. I said, lift your hand and shout, Amen. Amen. John chapter number eight. John chapter. Number eight, verse number one. John chapter number eight, verse number one. Marosha balia ikarusha batia. Zekeno shabalia ikadusa zia. Zonte elia rusha lia baratus tovene. I receive it. Iko shabati idadas. I receive it. Isomenda halush ileberonus ibehe. I receive it. Hisa balia ikadusha balia akatush. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to read it together. John chapter number 8. Verse number 1 to number 7. Hallelujah. We are going to read on top of our voices. If you have your Bible, I want you to read like you are ready to be taught. I want you to read like you are ready to be taught. John chapter number 8. Verse number 1. Let's read it together. 1, 2, 3, go. Jesus went unto the mountain of olives, verse number two, and early in the morning he came again in the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. Verse number three, and the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set, set her in the midst, verse number four, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in an adultery in the very act. Verse number five. Now Moses in the law commanded us that a son should be stoned. But what saith thou? Verse number six. This saith, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stood down and with his finger wrote on the ground and thought he heard them not. Verse number 7. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up themselves and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him be the first one to cast the stone. Verse number 8. And again, he stepped down and wrote on the ground and they, they, they which had it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the, end, at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. Verse number 10, the Bible says, When Jesus had lifted up, left up himself, and the saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thy accused? Hath no man condemned thee? 
Verse number 11. He said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and see no more. My God, my God. Increase my microphone. Increase my microphone. Second Colossians. Second Colossians. Chapter number 14 to 16. I want us to read it together. Colossians. 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 Chapter number 2. Verse 14 to 16. I want us to read it together. I want us to read it together. Marco Shabalia Ikadush. Zana Mahadebe. Are you there? Are you there? Let's read. Let's read. One, two, three, go. What? Come on, come on. Let's read. One, two, three, go. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. L read it, Pastor. One, two, three, go. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle Kasha of Bani. them, triumphing over them in it. Verse number 14, the Bible says, having wiped away all the handwriting of requirement that was against us, which was contrary to ours, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it on the cross, having disarmed principalities, powers, he made a public speculation of them, triumphing over them in it. So let no man judge you in food or drink or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbath, which Oh, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Now, I am talking about a subject tonight that I have captioned, my handwriting against me scatter. My handwriting against me scatter. Oh, every handwriting against me scatter. Ladies and gentlemen, if you read the book of John chapter number 8, verse number 1, the Bible says, Jesus was coming up from the mountain. He was coming from the mountain to go and pray. The man was so much fireized. The man was so much loaded with revelation. The man was so much impacted by divinity. He was coming up from the mountain and the Bible says in that process of coming out to the mountain, the Bible says he went to the temple according to the law because according to the law is that you can never worship anywhere apart from the temple. So it was, it was, it was, it was the temple where people could go there and they gather so that they can hear the word of God. And the Bible said then Jesus went to the temple according to the culture. And the Bible says, there in the temple, he sat down and the Bible says, he was teaching the word. He was teaching mysteries. He was revealing the, the mysteries of the kingdom of God. And the Bible says, while he was teaching, the, the, while he was teaching, the Bible says, the Pharisees, lift your hand, say the Pharisees. Come on, lift your hand, say the Pharisees. The Bible said while he was teaching, the Pharisees appeared. Ladies and gentlemen, who are Pharisees? Pharisees, these were doctors of the law. These were people who were trained in tradition. These were people who knew the Bible, but they were not practicing what the Bible was talking about. And the Bible says, all the Pharisees, they came unto Jesus and they asked Jesus a question. He said, Master, Master, the mosaic law state that when a woman she has been caught in adultery she must be stoned ladies and gentlemen it was written that a woman when she commits adultery she must die it was written that uh, Samson when the 
hair has been cut, the Samson will finish. I don't know what has been written about you. I don't know what has been written about your family, but I prophesy everything written about your destiny by the power of Jehovah, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I came as a prophetic rubber. I came as a prophetic rubber to rub every handwriting, to rub every ordinances against your life. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. It was a written child of God that uh, if it was written about Samson that the day the hair will be cut off, it is the end of Samson. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you it is written that you would die with HIV. It is written that you would die as a poor man. It is written that you would die as a divorcee. I don't know what is written in your family. I don't know what is written in your marriage. I don't know what is written in your ministry. I came as a prophetic man to come and erase every spoken word against your life. Lift your hand and shall fire. Lift your hand, say, My father, my father. Shout like you are crazy. Say, My father, my father. Such kind of teachings are very dangerous. Say, My father, my father. Every handwriting of the enemy against me scatter by fire 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 lift your hand and pray 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 in Jesus name Listen, the Bible says, these Pharisees and the Sadducees, Pharisees, these were doctors of the law. These were traditionists. These were people who were not practicing what was written, but they were full in condemning people. They were full in persecuting people. Ladies and gentlemen, some people, they have persecuted you because of what is written about you. Some of them, they have condemned you because of what is written about you. I came as a prophet man to come and declare to you every contamination it has been blotted away say I receive it say I receive it sit down listen Pharisees and Sadducees they were not condemning what was not written they were responding to what was written these were professional accusers these were professional assassins. These were professional uh, 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 people to terminate destiny. And the Bible says, when they heard that Jesus was in the temple, they brought a woman who was caught in adultery, in an act. And they asked him a question. He said, Master, the Mosaic law, it is written that when a woman has been caught in adultery, she must be stored. And Jesus Christ, he kept quiet. He knew their mind. He knew their thoughts. He knew what was written about the woman he knew what was written about the woman Jesus did not talk he tackled the writing with writing can I talk to somebody here he tackled the writing with writing it was written about the woman that she must be dead she must be stored and Jesus Christ he kept quiet he took the finger he took the finger and wrote on the ground can I prophesy I see the finger of God writing on the ground that's why a blessed woman. Hey! I see the finger of Jehovah writing that you are a favored woman. I see the finger of Jehovah writing that you are a blessed I man. You're coming in his place. You're going at his place. I, I come to bless you. I My daughter, I bless you. I Every handwriting. Working against you. Working against your destiny. Working against your future. The Bible says he brought it out. Every handwriting against us. I don't know what is against you. I prophesy by the finger of Jehovah. I write on the ground. Your Lamborghini is coming. By the finger of Jehovah. I write your marriage. By the finger of Jehovah. I write your millionaire. By the finger of Jehovah. I write this is your year. By the finger of Jehovah. I write your husband is coming by the finger of Jehovah your millions are released by the finger of Jehovah your rejection come to celebration by the finger of Jehovah I prophesy 
shame is God from shame to glorification I prophesy from ashes to glory in the name of Jesus when you gather people 17 is to achieve by the finger of Jehovah I write straight over your feet you shall pursue you shall overtake you shall shout hallelujah your ministry. Are you listening? The Bible says, while Jesus sat in the temple, it was in church, it was in church that Pharisees came with a woman to condemn. Ladies and gentlemen, church has turned not to be a place of encouragement. It has turned to be a place of self-condemnation. People are condemning themselves and Jesus sat in the church. He was busy looking at them. He was busy listening to them. Why are brothers condemning themselves? We have got Pharisees in suits. We have got Pharisees in sweat. Sit down. You, you, you think in our time we don't have Pharisees? message when I was coming. The Lord says today, deal with every handwriting. Thank you. As you have served me, as the water is sweeter, your life will become sweeter. I say your life will be sweeter. You will laugh for the rest of your life. I prophesy out of your belly shall flow out rivers of water if you are believing if you are making noise you are taking your portion I prophesy it is your season say I receive ah. I thought the church it is a place of peace I thought the church it is a place of comfort I thought the church it is a place where burdens are lifted I thought the, the church it is a place where people find refuge but the church turned to be a place of persecution persecuting one another why it is it is the uh, it is the pharisaic spirit it is a scribe spirit to persecute brethren in church and the bible says jesus was in the church he was busy looking on how they persecuted the woman because she was guilty by the handwriting She was guilty Jesus, by the handwriting. Jesus. It's like going Jesus. against the law. This woman, she had gone against the law, the mosaic law. She was guilty. 
Is there some people that are guilty here? They say, man of God, I am a sinner. Man of God, my life has not been all right. Man of God, I am the worst sinner. I have been drinking beer. I have been smoking. I am a filthy person. I don't even deserve the grace of God. I don't deserve even to live. Even what I have, I don't deserve it. Even the car I have, I don't deserve it. Even the house I have, I don't deserve it. Am my daughter listen to me there was a woman who was guilty like you oh, and yes. the bible says jesus did not condemn her oh. jesus only wrote on the ground oh. listen child of god oh, yes. i prophesy jesus it. is going to deal with every handwriting oh, against you power are you listening and writing Jesus became quiet. He became very quiet. He became very quiet. Listen, listen, listen. We don't tackle condemnation with noise. We don't tackle condemnation with noise. The Bible said Jesus became very quiet because he understood the law. Because Jesus Christ came to break the law from Adam. He came to deal with the Adam law, the Adamic law people they were living 930 years, because of the Adamic sin, the lifespan of a man was reduced to nothing people, people they were living up to 30 years Jesus died a premature death because of the Adamic law so he, he became a curse he came to take the curse, he came to break the law now the Bible says, when they brought this woman, they were condemning her. They said, Master, this one, she has been caught in, adult, in adultery. We must stone her. These were Pharisees putting on robes, putting on suits with horsey, horsey, horsey voices. All of them, they were condemning this woman. There were thousands of Pharisees against one woman. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many enemies against your destiny. Oh. And you don't know why they are against you. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says, many are those that want to eat my flesh, oh. but Jehovah my God, oh. deliver me from them. Can I prophesy? I they shall it. come in in one it. way and it. scatter in several it. ways. Lift it. your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power. Oh, the Pharisees. It was Pharisees versus an adulterous woman. It was Pharisees. This is an adulterous woman. And the Bible says, all the Pharisees, pastors were carrying stones. Wow. Bishops were carrying stones. Bishop with stomach, with a hair like Uzziah. Are you listening to me here? Oh, they yes. were carrying stones. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yes. They were ready to bastardize and to finish this woman because of an act. I thought that you were a pastor. You had the heart to cover. Oh. Why did you cover her? But you went and they exposed her. And the Bible says, Jesus was very quiet. He was looking at them. And the Bible says, they asked him a question. He said, Master, it is written about this woman. It is written that when a woman has been caught in adultery, she must be stoned unto death. Which means adultery is a sin unto death. Everyone who commits adultery must die. It is written. Ladies and gentlemen, and Jesus became quiet. The Bible says, he knew their minds. He knew their thoughts. Oh. He knew from Genesis to Revelation. Revelation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible said Jesus took his finger. He took his finger. He took his finger. He took his finger. He took the prophetic finger and wrote on the ground. The Bible says, the Bible says, then God took the ground. He took the dust. And the Bible says he took the mud. When he took the mud, he went to a blind man and put it on his eyes. The, boy, the, the man was blind and sight was restored. Which means Jesus, he dealt with the source of the problem. Aye, aye, aye. Jesus dealt with the source of the problem. Can I prophesy? Jesus Christ, he knows the source of your problem. He had to deal with the Adamic so that you can receive the Jesus Christ. Adam was removed where? From the dust. Jesus dealt with the problem 
the Bible says he took a finger. He took the finger. He took the finger. And the Bible says he did not say anything. He did not say anything. The Bible says he wrote down. He wrote down. Look, we don't tackle teachings. We don't tackle uh, 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 writings with mouth. Power. We don't tackle writings with mouth. We tackle writings with writings. Oh, yes. Are you listening to me here? Oh yes. Are you listening to me here? Oh yes. Are you listening to me here? Oh yes. We tackle what writings with writings. So if the enemy has written about you, he has written that you will never go anywhere. Oh. He has written that you would die a premature death. Oh. He has written that you die a shameful death. Oh. Child of God, I am D.D. Isaac. Oh yes. I don't carry cruise oil. Oh. I don't carry. I mosquito oil. Ah, I carry fresh oil. Ah, I prophesy. I receive every it. handwriting. I receive against it. your life. I receive against it. your ministry. I receive you will look for it. I receive it has expired. I receive you will look for it. I receive you will never see it anymore. I, receive I prophesy. I receive anyone I receive against it. you I receive by the handwriting I written it. about you. I, I prophesy I as a child of God. I, I prophesy I as it. prophetic Buddha. I, I declare. And declare I that handwriting I over it. your life, I over it. your children, I over it. your family, I you will it. never see it anymore. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down. Major. Jesus, he tackled right things against you by right things. God respects the written documents than the spoken document. He says he will never break his word. What he has written uh, is permanent. Amen. And all these Pharisees, Sadducees, bishops, archbishops, bookshop, prophets, prophets, pastors, and posters. All of them they were ready. <laughs> Profiters, all of them. I believe they were Zionist. Those who are putting on garments. They're like holy. Oh. Holy, holy. Angel Michael. Angel Gabriel. Who, 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 who? Angel Michael. Are you listening to me here? Yes. All of them they were ready to stone the woman. They were ready to stone the woman. And look. The Bible says they, they asked Jesus that question as a trap. Read verse number 7. The Bible said the reason why they asked him that question, it was the trap because they understood what was written. If Jesus had been spoken against the Mosaic law, they would have said he's a false prophet. But the Bible said he knew their mind. He knew their thoughts. Oh, yes. He had to perceive that this question, it is a trap. And the Bible says he kept quiet. Sometimes don't talk. Amen. Amen. Power. Don't talk. Oh, yes. You know, if, the, if your enemy is after you, keep quiet. Amen. The Bible says Jesus became quiet. And the Bible says he took his finger he took his finger, which represents the pain of Jehovah, oh. over your life. The Bible says he took his finger, and the Bible says he wrote on the ground. And he said, if there is anyone among you who, are, who is without sin, who is without sin, let him be the first one to cast the stone. Let him be the first one to cast the stone. Look, he tackled mysteries with mysteries. He tackled writing with writing. Amen. So when they write about you, Jesus writes also about you. Oh. They speak against you. Jesus speaks good against you. Oh. Jesus speaks good over you. Are you listening? Oh, yes. The writings. Now let me show you. Let, let me show you something. The Bible says, when he wrote on the ground, <laughs> when he wrote on the ground, the Bible says, power and the virtue left them. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the weapons to paralyze your enemy completely, to squeeze your enemy like Jewish, to remove his amniotic fluid out of his bones, oh. to remove his hemoglobin blood oh. out of his bones. What you do, you understand what is written about you. Am I talking to somebody oh, here? Yes. He had to paralyze. He had to shut their mouth oh. by the written way. I've seen my son. Is that pretty? Peace. Peace. 
God bless you, my son. Put the two hands for my son. Wow. Hey! Take this. Major! Pow! Ah! The Bible says he took his finger and wrote on the ground. And the Bible says, if there is anyone among you, ladies and gentlemen, those that are watching, listen to this teaching. Jesus said, if there is anyone among you without sin, let him be the first one to condemn me. Why are you condemning me? In another way, Jesus was trying to say the same sin that Adam committed, even you Pharisees, even you bishops, even you prophets, you are part. And Jesus said, why are you concentrating on, this, on the sins of this woman? Look at your own sin. The Bible says power and virtue left them. And the Bible says they went on their way because of the handwriting. Listen to me very well. Because of the handwriting. One, listen, one of the two to paralyze your enemy is your handwriting. Oh, you don't know. Your handwriting. What is your handwriting? Vision. Habakkuk, get the pen. Write the vision. Write the vision on the temple. Though it may tarry, it will come to pass. It does not take long. When you write your vision on the table, it does not matter who went ahead of you. It does not matter who is making it. It does not matter who is driving better cars and prophesy. Your vision will come to pass. The Bible says, do not despise the days of your small beginnings. Though it may look small, it shall become great. Can I prophesy? You have an intercontinental vision. You have a baristic vision. You have a missalic vision. Whether you are coming from a shanty compound your oh, vision is maker you are not a local champion lift your hand say I am not a local champion I am not a local champion sit down tell your neighbor I'm not a local champion look at your neighbor and say tell your neighbor I'm not a local champion I'm not a local champion I've told you one of the weapons to paralyze reduce mango tata your enemy completely making him powerless making him making him impotent making him barren making him removing his teeth he remains like a dog that cannot bite how do you do you understand the principle of vision the written vision the written vision when I tell you that God called me, I did not call God. Yes. There, there's two kinds of people. There are those that call God, and there are those that God called them. There are those that are being used by God, and there are those that are using God. Power! <laughs> so it's either you are using God, or God is using you. Very soon, if you are using God, God will be tired of you. Because uh. God is saying, you have used me so much. You have not been paying me. <laughs> Are you listening? Oh, yes. Jesus tackled writings that were against you by writing. Now, Colossians chapter number, number, number 2, verse number 14 to number 16. I want us to read that scripture because I'm closing. I'm closing. I'm closing. So that those who are coming, they will find that we have already finished. We have already finished. I told you nowadays I'm preaching for 30 minutes. 30 minutes you feel like it's Two hours. Please. Read for me. Read for me. Uh -huh. Read for me if you, all of you, read for me. One, two, three, go. Listen. Brotting out. Brotting out. Brotting out. Every handwriting. What? Every handwriting. Look, there is no handwriting without the owner of the handwriting. Dear witch doctors that wrote about 
about you in a shirai. They say, Jennifer, Ruth, your destiny will be in a shirai. It is written that you must be in a shirai. Jesus said, blotting out every handwriting. The word to blot out, it means to rub completely. To rub without any spot remaining. The Bible says, he blotted out every handwriting. He removed. He went in the books. He went in the mosaic, mosaic law. He went and he counseled. Counseled, he said, this one, she must be blessed. This one, she must be healed. This one must be married. This one must drive a better car. This one, she must live a better life. Can I prophesy? You will live a better life. I see you living in a seven bedroom house to cause the devil have cancer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who told you that buying a Lamborghini it is a seed. He blotted out every handwriting of poverty and he gave you the evidence. He gave you the right to be a millionaire. The Bible says he was made poor so that you may be rich. I raised millionaire. I rest free, Leonidas. In the name of Jesus, every family that is written that you must be poor, you join my family. The family of money. Receive, 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 receive it. Receive it. Ah, my son. Hey, sit down. Say. Say. Jesus, my son, Jesus had to blot out. He had to remove every handwriting, every handwriting written from Genesis, from Genesis, from Leviticus, from Deuteronomy, from Revelation, from Habakkuk. He had to blot it out and finish your life. I see people coming to church. They're always lifting up their hands and say, Papa, forgive me. Ah, he forgave you now. People condemn themselves. They condemn themselves. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And you are walking so mumushas. With your scattered work. I'm a sinner. With your, with your head. I'm a sinner. Walking shameful like a chicken. Don't understand what is written about you. Jesus, the Bible says, blotting out, blotting out, removing every handwriting of sickness, removing every handwriting of barrenness, removing every handwriting of poverty, oh, yes. removing every handwriting of paralysis. Oh, yes. Are you listening? Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. My son, are you here? Let's read it. Let's read it. Paradu Shabalia. Receive. I receive it. Verse number 14. The Bible says, blotting out the handwriting. The way to blot out. Uh, what does it say? Okay. Okay. This is uh, KJV. International translation. Okay. Let's read it. The Bible says, having erased huh? having erased so jesus became the rubber every pencil has a rubber ah. and the one who made the pencil knew you will make mistakes ah. <laughs> you are not hearing this the one who made the pencil he knew that you will make mistakes oh, yes. are you listening to me here uh. he was aware uh. that you will make mistakes uh. that's the reason he put the rubber there oh, so yes. that we can rub every mistake uh. I prophesy. The Bible says we are not under the law. We are under the grace. If any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. The old has gone. The new has come. I prophesy. No more condemnation. No more guilty. No more persecution. I lift your spirit. I lift your spirit. I prophesy. As you are listening to me, sin will not be a victim to you. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down. Hey. Oh. You are listening. God 
has taken me in a depth of revelation. Three days ago, the Lord took my heart and he sinked it in revelation. He sinked my heart in revelation. He said, now every word that will come up from the heart, not from your mouth. From your heart, not from your mouth. Amen. Listen, the Bible says, having erased. <laughs> you know what it means to erase? Eh? You know what it means to erase? receive it. Having erased huh? anything that was written about you. Anything written about your documents. Anything written about your process. I receive it. Anything written about your ministry. I receive it. Having erased. I receive Not he will erase. Uh -huh. He has already erased. I receive Can it. I prophesy to you? Oh yes. He has already erased the I writing of sickness. I receive it. Not he will erase. <laughs> Not he will erase. Present tense. It's a now moment. It's a now situation. It's a having erased every writing. Listen, having erased the charges. Every criminal is charged. You were a criminal. Oh. You are a criminal. You are a robber. Uh -huh. You are a thief. You are a, you are a prostitute. Uh -huh. And Jesus said, having erased, uh -huh. having robbed uh -huh. every charges uh -huh. against you, uh -huh. can I prophesy? Oh, yes. I don't know who is charging you of it. your sins. I, I don't know who is charging you of whatever it. was done. I, I prophesy. Jesus Christ, erase every charge. The charge of sickness, the charge of infirmity, the charge of HIV, the charge of poverty, it was erased. Lift your hands, say, My father, my father. My father, my father. Say, My father, my father. My father, my father. Erase. Erase. Every handwriting. Every handwriting. Every charge. Every charge. Of the devil. Of the devil. Sit down. Pow. Before Jesus died, you were regarded as a robber, criminal. Oh. There was a charge. You know what it means, a charge? Huh? The way the charge, it means the payment of every doing. <laughs> the payment of every doing. So it was written about this woman that because of what she did, the charge is Life 